Documentary Boxing, I'm here with Michael Gomez who has just um, stopped someone who has only been stopped 13 times out of 17. 12, that was 13. 13. He only, he'd never been stopped in the first round. <coughs> yeah? Never. You seemed pretty pumped up before you went in. Is, did you want to um, prove a point? I just wanted to punch his face in. Nah, yeah? I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding that's I'm that's kidding. general kind of rule of boxing, isn't it? Oh yeah, nah, you know what it was? It's, um, it's been a frustrating couple of weeks with injuries and just not my bullshit that you get in training camps. But then this morning I got woken up to be told that the weight. No, don't put it there. Put it there. That the um, I'll use them again. That the um, that it's gonna come in at stupid weight above and just typical bullshit that you don't want to wear. But you know it's another learning curve. It's happened now and I'll, you know next time it happens I'll you know be prepared better. You you seem pretty. Um um, frustrated um, about your career so far. So we're talking about some of your highs and lows. Is, is, do you feel like now you're back on it? Do you feel like this is. You, you know, know what it is? When I first turned pro, you know, I got it given to me. Everything I had boxed at Emmy and Arena, I had a stupid purse. You know, I, I, was, I thought, you know, I thought I was, I might was acting like I was already a world champion after one fight. And, you know, in this game, it's the wrong yeah. attitude to have. And, and, you know, I had, I've had a break. The last fight I proved. That I could box a bit and have a bit of brain into that, I was to punch his face and stuff him. Well, you certainly did that. Um, I actually didn't though, I only landed one good shot and it went over. Yeah? He's, yeah, he's a pretty tough guy, I've seen him box quite I a few times. I tell you what, so he it was heavy and all that, he hit me on the back of the head and I swear to God it was a right stinger. Yeah, we were just, I was just talking to um, Gaz and said this guy can, this guy can bang, he needs to watch out a bit. You know it? what it was? I wanted him to, I knew with, with fighters like that, it can go two ways. If you give them the respect and let them box around, they will do. But if you make them throw like that, that's when you're going to catch them. And when I, I knew every time he'd throw the right hook, we worked on it, catch, catch it and come back with a left hook. And in the end, it paid off earlier than what I expected. Ah. You brought a, um, a really big fan base with you, all the way from uh, Manchester. Um, Luke Blackledge, boxer. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's he's a big fan of yours. Yeah, he's a good pal of mine. No, no, I do. Um, where do you go from here? A boxing. Well, that's the last four rounder I'm ever gonna do. That matters. And then now I'm doing a six rounder top at Bill on November twenty fourth. Fourth, and then next year I'm gonna slowly so kick November off. So November twenty fourth, where? where? Uh, Leeds. Yeah, uh, Leeds. Yeah, Leeds. I don't know. I'm yeah. gonna, you know, I'm gonna slowly kick on that. I'm still not in a rush. I'm only 23 still, and I've had, you know, I'm, I'm still only learning. I've got a lot to learn. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I know I've got a lot to learn. But, you know, as I proved tonight, that kid had not been stopped at this level often. You know, not many prospects stopping. And, you know, I didn't even get out of first gear to be honest with you. I'm just having a bit of fun. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure to speak to you and watch you, and good luck on your next fight. Thank you very much.